Mevlüt Çavuşoğlu is in Washington D.C. for crucial face-to-face -face talks with his U.S. counterpart. As the State Department kicked off the congressional approval process last week for the sale of F-16 fighter jets to Turkey, with an informal notification sent to Capitol Hill, a handful of members of Congress, who publicly aligned themselves with the Greek position to block the sale, have already promised to do so again. The Turkish government is calling on America to weigh up the situation carefully. Here is what we are saying generally to the US. The balance in US relations with Turkey and Greece has been off. The US used to have a balanced policy. The balance between the Turkish and Greek Cypriots has also unfortunately been off. An ally like the US should pay attention to the balance. US President Joe Biden could soon move forward with the formal notification. Despite staunch opposition from Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chair Bob Menendez, the president can still technically override Congress to get the deal over the line by forcing opponents to find an unlikely two-thirds majority. We should sell them the F-16 jets and modernize those jets as well. It's not in our interest not to do that. And I indicated to them that I've not changed my position at all since December. And there was no quid pro quo with that. It was just that we should sell what I need congressional approval to be able to do that. And I think we can get that. Some analysts say that a potential failure to complete the sale would be detrimental to bilateral relations and NATO's striking capabilities. Well, F-16s are a way of punctuating what's been a very bad decade for U.S.-Turkish bilateral relations, uh, maybe a decade and a half. Turkey has a gap between when its current F-16 fleet kind of times out and it uh, brings online its newer systems, and this would help solve that, that gap. And that is a problem both for NATO and for Turkey because uh, there's no getting around it both in terms of geography and combat power. Turkey is a major element of NATO, so there's nobody in Brussels who doesn't think this is a good idea. With the sale of F-16s close to being clinched, there are other pressing issues expected to be on table when Çavuşoğlu and Blinken meet here on Wednesday, including America's support for the YPG-PKK terrorist group, the war in Ukraine and relations between Turkey and Syria. All these matters will be crucial discussion points. Yunus Park, Soy TRT World, Washington.